Hello everyone, and now that you guys know a little bit more about coding, I would like to demonstrate what the workflow of a software developer looks like. This is not about designing an app and then build one from scratch. Uh, we assume that already has been done for this example. Uh, we just make a little change to existing software, in this case a website, and then update the software. So at the moment you guys use an editor in the cloud, and then you create a sandbox on CodeHS. Uh, you use their online editor to create and run your code. Professional developers don't typically do that. They have their own preferred editor installed on their own computer. In our case, we'll demonstrate the editor Visual Studio Code. It's a free editor created by Microsoft. This is a quick demonstration of how to update a website. A website is created in HTML, CSS. We're gonna use version control, and for that we use Git. Then we're gonna store our software, our version in GitHub, github.com, which is a website, which is a platform where you can store software in versions. And then finally, we will publish our website on a uh, platform called Netlify. So here are the steps we are going to take. Uh, the site has already been created. All these platforms and all these applications we're using uh, are kind of the most used applications and websites at the moment. So uh, pretty popular. So the site already has been created. We're just going to make a small adjustment to the website. Um, like I said, uh, the website is just basic HTML, CSS. We're gonna just add some HTML and then we are going to update uh, to a new version. We're gonna create a new version of our software because it now has been updated. And then we're gonna uh, store that version in the cloud using GitHub. I already made a connection between GitHub and another platform called Netlify. Uh, the difference is that uh, you can store your software on GitHub. You can even publish it there if you want, but I think Netlify does a better job uh, taking the version, taking the software that I created and then publishing it to the public on the internet. So they're already connected. And Netlify, like I said, can publish static websites. With that I mean, you can, you, if you want, you can, but it's really hard to get an interaction going on with a database and other dynamic stuff. But for a static website like we have with HTML, CSS, it is more than enough. Yeah, it's also free, so that is nice. And then we're gonna just deploy the updated version of the website on Netlify. Okay, those are the steps we're gonna take. So let me walk you through it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is the website. This is the HTML. We got some simple CSS going on. The website looks like this. I can really open it up with live server. So this is a local version. And the website is about recommended steps to become a good Python programmer and beyond because in the end I'm gonna also point you towards other computer languages. And we're gonna make a small adjustment. Here, basics of Django. Uh, let me... Now, if we go online to the, the current website, so look, if you look at the current website, it goes straight from Django to Angular and we just inserted the step in between. Just a simple uh, adjustment. So now I'm going to use Git. First I'm going to save my file, of course, and then I'm going to use Git to create a new version. Um, my software now has a new version, so I can say Git add dot. The dot means everything, so every file that has been changed will now be stored pretty much. So it stores changes. And now I can say Git commit dash M for message, and then I can add a little message when I create my version where I say uh, added a new list item, and then I can even name it uh, create a simple Django website. All right, now we got a new version. Uh, what I can do now is upload that to a platform called GitHub. Let me show you real quick. So this is what it looks like. And you got all your software here lined up. If I go to repositories. Repositories are kind of uh, projects that you work on. And every file that is connected to that project is stored in what they call a repository or a repo. So 
I already have dev steps here. That's a repository connected to the website that we are working on right here. So the only thing I now have to do, since they're already connected, is say git push, and it will automatically go to the correct repo. And if I dive in here, I can even look at the software if I want it and quickly check if that line was there. And then it's right here. So now the software has been updated on GitHub. That means I can now go to Netlify. And I said Netlify is the platform that I use to publish any website that I created. So since it's already connected, it's already has been deployed once uh, when I started created this website. Now I only have to say deployed site. And it's gonna take uh, maybe uh, 20, 30 seconds. And then the new version will have been updated. All files have been uploaded. Yet, initialize, build, deployed, cleaned up and post processed. So now if we go to devsteps.netlify.app, now we should see that extra step and there it is. Yeah, so that's how that works. And I hope that made somewhat sense to you.